Hello everyone, welcome to the Dastardly Gentleman, OG Ryan here, and today we're back with more One Shot. Best 19! Best 19! Can you hear me? Yeah. Oh, phew. What happened? Everything went pitch black for a second. Alright. In the last episode, we got our lens. We explored the mines a little bit. Now we're going to head back. I don't think there's much else that we can do here. Unfortunately, I have to navigate this fucking labyrinth all over again. Um, have we been over here? Yes. Okay. I kind of recognize where we're at. Um, yeah, okay. I think the only place to go from here is left. Alright, yeah, we're back here at the factory. Um, nothing I can do in there, I don't believe. Oh, hello, robot friend. Hello again. Are there more questions you wish to ask? Uh, no. It's alright, thank you. In that case, I wish you safe travels. Now, did this computer do anything? No. Um, this thingy. This box looks interesting. Wish I had something to pry it open with. Do we still have the screwdriver? We do not. I wonder if that would have been a better use. Or if we even could have used it on that. Hmm. Oh, okay. Um, can't combine the lens and the light bulb. Combine the lens and the bottle. No. Okay. I think we're just due for a little more exploration. So let's do that. Is there anything over here? This is just the factory, correct? Yes. There's nothing we can do there. What is back this way? been in here? I don't think we... Oh yeah, this is where we came out of, in the house. So the house brought us here to this rail car looking thing. We haven't explored up here. Probably best off following the tracks, but hey! Person! Hello! Um, hello! Best 19, are you there? Yeah, what's up? Oh, good! There's a robot here attached to a boat. Doesn't seem to have power, and its joints are rusted over as well. But I think we should be able to fix it. After all, we'll need to cross this ocean to get to the tower. move on for now because we don't appear to be able to do anything with that robot quite yet. What we got in here? A thingy. It's a metal pipe. Must have broken off from one of these terminals. Good. I'm a little tired from walking. Is it alright if I take a nap? Yeah. Just fine. Okay, that appeared to have actually closed the game. Well, that's cute. Dream time for Nico, apparently.
Fisk, are you still there? Yep. Ah, I'm awake. I had a dream just now. I saw. You did? Wow. I... I really thought I was back home. Oh, the sun back in my home world isn't a light bulb. It's a big ball of fire in the sky. I don't think I would be able to hold it like I do with the sun from your world. This isn't my world. Huh? This isn't the world I live in. Really? Uh, I guess not. If you're the god of this world, you wouldn't necessarily be in it. What's your home world called? Earth. Earth? Like the stuff on the ground? Wait, do you live underground? No. Ah, neither do we. But trees and field mice and stuff do. Does your world have a sun? Yeah, it's also a ball of fire. Really? Wow. Can you hold it? That was a silly question, wasn't it? The sun in my homeworld is very bright. Warm, too. You saw, right? But it goes away sometimes at night. Everything gets dark, kind of like how this world is now. But it's okay, because the sun always comes back the next day. That's good, don't you think? My world is like that, too. Ah, do you sleep during the night? We go to sleep, usually. But some people stay up and use computers. <laughs> I don't have to explain what they are, do I? There's a bunch of them in this world. Anyway, we should probably get going. Let's take a look at that rod. We have surprisingly little. Can we do anything with it? I'm not going to smash the bottle. So, nope, not yet. Okay. So we have a lightweight metal rod of some sort. Fess, there's something in the air here. It hurts to breathe. So we're going to have to find a, one of those gas, ma gas masks that they were talking about. And... I don't suppose. Okay. That rod doesn't do anything for us. Um... Hmm. Where to now? Um, I think I have an idea. Let's get back to the robot's house over here. That's what I'm going to call it. Yeah. And see if we can pry this thing open with the metal rod. Pipe won't fit under the cracks, Vask. We'll need to flatten it somehow. Ah. I know just the thing for that. Okay. Let's smush it. Ah! You want me to crush the pipe in here? Oh, but I don't want to get too close. That was scary. Okay, cool. Made it into a crowbar. Now we'll be able to pry this box open. This bar should open it. There's a little metal cube and some broken glass in here. Looks like what used to be a machine part. It says solar battery on the side. Okay, broken battery. Which we can combine with the lens. Yes, the lens pops right in. Cool, empty battery. Can we combine it with the light bulb? We're using the sun directly on the battery. I would have never thought of that. Good thinking, Vask. Ah, looks like it's already fully charged. That was fast. Alright, got a charged battery. Which we can bring back to the robot on the dock. I figured it all out.
No, I just have to find him. There he is. Alright. Who wants a battery? I don't think this battery is supposed to be for the robot. Okay, maybe not. What else do we need a charged battery for? Um, let me try this actually. Okay, point. What is this? Okay, yeah. Do you want the battery? Glowy shrimp are dying. No way, I just refilled that two days ago. Guess I'll make a trip to the shore later. Kinda of wondering if I could bottle some of these shrimps. But maybe not. Hmm... What about you? Do you want a battery? Nope. Or not. Don't use it on the computer. <laughs> use it in here. Here we go. Let's hope the charged battery does something. Cool. Fire that shit up. Whoa! I just got shocked. <laughs> I got an achievement. Shock. Okay. So what did that do for us? Whoa, suddenly the robots are <laughs> up and about. I am functional. I can walk. What about you? You're functional. Did you power the generator? I... Yes, we did. Right, Fisk? All right, computer. What do you got to say? God damn it, it keeps doing that. It keeps forcing the program to go into windowed mode. I see you've made some progress in this world, Vesk, but that progress stops here. I believe you need a code to unlock a certain box. Well, the code no longer exists in this world. And it just popped up a window asking, do you understand what this means, Vesk? Uh, sure. Good. Start looking. So the code we need no longer exists in this world. So it must exist outside of the game somewhere. Uh, I'm guessing? I don't know. Robot Buddy has no friends. Well then. 
I think I'm going to pause the episode here, and I'm going to try to find somewhere outside the game, I guess, where the code is? Um, hang tight, I'll be right back. All right, everyone, we are back. So I had to do a little bit of digging around. Um, I thought that maybe it's going to be like in their web page or in like some sort of secret code in the trailer or something, some Metal Gear Solid shit where you have to, you know, find Meryl's fucking codec number on the back of the game case. Um, now, what actually happens is the game creates a small little document um, just in your documents folder that you have to open up and it has this little cryptic creepy message in it um, that reveals the code to you. Um, yes, I do remember the code. It is 366 101. There we go. Wow, it worked! Wait, how did you know the code, Vask? I still don't remember seeing one. I had some help. Really? From who? Don't worry about it. Okay. What's in the safe, Nico? Oh, right. Let's see. Ah, I found a gas mask. Also, there's this weird-looking book. I can't read it, though. Not that I can't read or anything, because I can. I just don't know what language this is. Whoa. That's not good. What is that? Um, found in the barrens, it's written in an unknown language. Can we investigate it or anything? Um, no. Okay, I guess we'll just leave the scary glitch alone. Travel back to the cliffs, I guess? No, we're... Are we at the cliffs? Docks. Okay. Then we go straight up here. And that puts us in the gas area. Yes! <laughs> it's so cute with the gas mask on. I should be fine with this mask on. Alright, let's take a look around. It's a gas vent. Pools? No. I wonder if those are more of the uh, shrimp. Pools of shrimp. Glowy shrimp. Whoa, bubble. This pond sure looks different. The water looks like jelly. It's formed a bubble, a bubble over the surface of the pond. Can I bottle it? I'm going to fill the bottle with this stuff, Vesk? It's too goopy to fit in the bottle open. I think that one time years ago when I when I tried to put tomato chowder into a baby bottle, and then it got everywhere. On the table, on my clothes, on the baby, on the baby's clothes. The grown-ups thought it was hilarious. They took a bunch of pictures, and then they taught me how to use funnels. Then they also told me that I shouldn't try to babysit until I'm older. Anyway, we should probably look for a funnel or something. Do I have anything that can function as a funnel? No. Okay, so we had the right idea there. We got to bottle some of that crap. What up, robot? The sky is dark. That it is. Do you know when the sun will be back up? We're working on it. on the ground. All the others are taller than me. Initially, the amount of noxious fumes emitted by the natural gas vents caught our team off guard. Thank goodness the medical team reacted as quickly as they did. Despite its failure, that first expedition did bring up some interesting observations about the Barrens. We found that there's not one, but two such event zones. With fumes being pumped out at such high concentrations, it seems a miracle that the gas hasn't spread anywhere else. 
Our biologists concluded that the phosphor shrimp in the crater pools were actively consuming the gas. The shrimp in the ocean also prevent the gas from wafting off into the glen. If that's the case, then we owe a lot to these little guys. So the shrimp consume the gas. the gas zone. Another factory looking building here. What we got? Beyond Repair Robot. Oh, he's busted. Some sort of mechanical drying. Evacuation at such short notice? I can't believe this. First the sun dies, now I'm out of a job. scared of ladders. So we can't go up the ladders. I can't see anything up there, so I guess we're done here for now. What's up with you? Hello, do you need any help? I'm good, thanks. Similar. Okay. Hey, sweetie. Six more weeks until you can come home. About time, huh? Gosh, I can't imagine living in that awful capsule wall dorm thing. But guess what? Soon you'll get to sleep in a real bed and eat real food again. Right back soon. Love, Mom. Ah. Looks like we're supposed to pack stuff for the evacuation starting today. I wish these books weren't so heavy. It's going to be a pain to carry them onto the ship. But they're by the author. I can't just throw them away. Scared of ladders. Okay. Let's see. Can we see anything up there? No? Now see this... In this room I can look all the way up. It looks like in that last room I couldn't see all the way up. So I wonder what that was about. What is this? Infirmary. Hello organic person who is alive. The infirmary is up ahead. Hello, person of organic makeup. Welcome to the infirmary. Scanning for injuries. Um, scan complete. Injuries detected, none. Treatment required, none. You are good to go. Uh, thanks? It's a box of medical tools. Most of them are broken or, rest broken or rusted beyond use, but this plastic syringe seems to be okay. Empty syringe. The needle is particularly long. <laughs> no, thank you. I wonder... I bet I can pick up the shrimp and put them into the bottle. Hello, person. Are you seeking admission into the infirmary? No. Oh, carry on then. Fine, I will. Anything up there? Nope. Before we head back to that shrimp bubble thing, let's go ahead and continue to look around. Just so we don't miss anything. Another thingy. A picture of a robot. You know, I've never been around so many robots before, Vesk. Or any robots at all. I mean, I see them in cartoons and stuff, but I've never seen one in person. They're pretty neat, don't you think? Hey, Nico, do a robot voice. What? Try talking like a robot. Um, 
Beep boop. I'm a robot and I eat batteries instead of normal people food. <laughs> that is not correct. Robots do not consume batteries in the same way people consume food. In fact, robots do not possess digestive systems. Some robots do not even have mouths. Ask. You made me look silly. Hello. Hi. What are you doing up there? I am stationed here. By yourself? Yes. Some of the ink on this page is faded. Likely due to some sort of electrical or magnetic interference. I'm afraid this operation can no longer be sustained. If the servers continue to fail so much that maintenance cannot keep up the pace. Fortunately, it does not seem to be happening to the robot. At least not at a significant rate. Time will tell. Checking, checking. Terminal does not respond. This is a problem. All of these terminals do not boot. I am not sure what to do now. Jeez, there's a lot of buildings here. We been in here yet? No, I don't think so. Yep, tiny shrimp. Okay. I remember being taught in school about how the waters surrounding the forest stretched into the boundaries of space, but at some point the prehistoric oceans receded, forming what is now the Barrens. I wonder where all that water went. Can you see anything up there? No. Before I get too far, let's not skip anything here. Whoa, hello. Looks like they're evacuating few tamed robots we have here. It makes sense, no point in keeping them in the barrens if all the people are already gone. I wonder if the engineer is going to. Apparently phase one of the evacuation ended prematurely. Uh, the big ships started malfunctioning only after a few round trips. They said it was due to something with squares? I'm not sure what they mean by that. Bummer. Looks like they won't be able to transport most of these surplus bots to the city at this rate. And we work so hard on those. But I suppose the robots are busy enough with transporting people as it is. I think it's going to be our turn soon. Again with that interesting spelling of robot. There's writing on this one too. It says Guardian of Residential Area. Would that be you? Oh, hello. What are you doing here? Hmm? A living person such as yourself should have evacuated this place long ago. Oh, but I just got here. To this world, I mean. See? I have the sun. Oh, the messiah. I do not know what to say. Greeting you is not part of my programming. Have you spoken to ProfitBot? I think so, yeah. ProfitBot was built with the sole purpose of greeting you. Really? Yes, he cannot speak with anyone else. At least, not with ease. Oh, that's kind of sad. What are you built for, then? My purpose is to guard this settlement. Even though the residents have long gone, I must remain. Ah, uh, why, though? I have not been tamed. Tamed? It was not worth the effort. By the way, some robots may start following you around this settlement as well. Do not be alarmed. It is their job to keep people safe. Cool. Okay. I think we'll end this episode here. Uh, once again, thanks for watching. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. We appreciate your support. And we will see you in the next episode. Peace.